In this video, I'll show you how to use TikTok Live Studio. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And please do watch this video right into the end to the full steps and let's get right into this. Here we are on my desktop and let's get right into this video. So the first thing you need to do is go and open up a web browser. So in this case, I'm using Google Chrome. And then all you need to do is come to a search engine such as Google. And what you need to do is just go and search for TikTok Live Studio, just like so and you can go and search for it. And then you want to make sure you go to the official website, which is tiktok.com, and it's gonna go and say, welcome to Live Studio. Click here, and like I said, just make sure it's the official website. Now you will need to go and sign into your TikTok account in order to go and download the application. So I'll quickly do that now. I've just signed in, so I'm gonna go and tap on free download for Windows, just like so, and a new tab will open and the download will begin. Now it's important to note that every browser is slightly different in how it downloads programs. So in Google Chrome, it goes and downloads it in the bottom left. But if you can't find where it's downloading, all you need to do is go and open up your file explorer once the download is finished and you're gonna go and find the installer there. So all you need to do is sit back and relax and wait for this to finish downloading. And then once the installer has finished, you need to go and tap on it. As I said before, if you can't go and find yours, then all you need to do is look in your downloads folder. So in a moment that you'll get a Windows security pop-up, unfortunately I can't go and record that, it just doesn't let me, and you can come and close off your browser. So then all you need to do is go and install the program, it's just like installing any other one. And then once the installer is finished, you can go and open it up. So either you can go and run it from the installer, um, or you can go and tap on it on your desktop, or even you can go and search for it on your computer as well. So you've just got to go and use whichever way works best. And the first time you open it up, you may go and get another Windows security pop-up as well, and now it's gonna go and launch. So here we are, Live Studio is now launched, and all you need to do is log in, so tap here. And here we are, I've now just logged in. So as you can see, you've got this option here for four beginners and four experienced streamers. If you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're a beginner. So I recommend going and clicking on setup. And then the first thing you need to do is go and set your microphone. So in this case, I'm gonna use my default device, but make sure you select the one you want to use and then go and press next. And then you can go and choose your camera. Once again, it's already found my camera here. For some reason it's not working, um, but this is my camera here, the Logitech one. But I'll just go and use the OBS virtual camera and then go and press next once again. And then it's gonna go and test your internet connection, which is really useful because then it's gonna go and apply the right settings um, to go and run it on. So for example, if you've got a slow upload speed, it's gonna go and use more sort of a slower video, um, a lower video quality to make sure you can still stream quite well. So there we go, it's gone and configured mine. Mine is a 1080p resolution, 60 FPS, and a bit rate of 8,000. Then I'm going to go and press OK and we can go and edit these if you'd like but for me um, they look fine and obviously they've been automatically detected as well. Then I'm going to go and press next once again um, and then you can go and choose your scenes but you can change these later as well so it doesn't really matter but for me I want a full screen desktop and a camera but what I said before you can go and change these at any point. Then go and press finish and it's going to take a moment to load and you'll get this pop up here but i'm showing you how to do it all in this video so you can go and press not now but you can go and check out the tutorials later as well and go and press got it now let's go and get right into this so at the top of the the program you're going to go and see your usages as you can see you've got cpu memory upload frame drops so that's sort of just statistics which you can go and use while you're streaming now let's go to the left hand side where we've got landscape scenes so this is going to be the different scenes um, and this is what, what i think is going to look like for example in this scene we've just got a camera and display capture but you can go and add another scene for example and then you can have different things for example in the second scene i could just have display capture um, instead of having my webcam and then you can go and flip between the two by clicking new scene or full screen in desktop camera and as you can see it'll take a moment and then it's going to show you it so there you go that is how you can go and change your scenes and then at the bottom you've also got um the tools as well so you can make, make a mark in your stream or a highlight now let's go and get into the middle piece so all you want to do is go and select the scene you'd like to edit and um, we'll show here and then it's going to show it and so you can go and adjust the size of the webcam so click on it and then you can go and drag it and then to go and adjust the main piece of video here, click on it once again, and you can go and change what it looks, the size of it and zoom it in more. And also you can go and change the order of these as well by coming here and you can go and drag it if you want it to be in front or behind. And when you go and select one of the sources as well, you've also got these tools at the top of what you can go and do with it. And then on the right hand side, you've got and got your last live data and you've got the live chat and activity as well. And that's sort of the main things really guys. And then at the bottom, you've also got the start button. So once you're ready to go live, all you need to do is press start and then you're going to 
Adobe live streaming. And then on the left hand side of this section here, we've gone and got the audio settings. You can see my mic here and you can mute it as well. But we've also just got the main settings and record button as well. So if you want to record, tap here. Um, but you can just go and click on settings. And then you've got stream quality, record, hotkeys, and in-game overlay. So you can go and edit those to your liking. And there we go. That is exactly how you can go and use TikTok Live Studio. As I said before, you can go and edit all of this and just fully customize it to how you want it to look. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing. Leave a like for more. Peace.